And now a few words from Murfreesboro Mayor Jackie Brawls. Hello, hello, everybody out there, Murfreesboro. Uh, this is your mayor, Mayor Brawls, and he, I'm proud to serve you. Let me say right now, I'm just. I'm tickled to death that, that you gave me this, bestowed this great honor upon me, and I'm going to do the best, uh, best I can, and I, I have the best intentions. And let me say right now, I want to make this clear. Now, last week, I did have the best intentions when I made Ron Blivens, when I chose him to be my first, Deputy Mayor. I thought he was a fine choice. Uh, I heard good stuff about him. Uh, and knew his neighbors. I known him come in the store for years and years. Uh, and I, everything I knew about this gentleman was on the up and up. But I guess I didn't know enough. So I want to apologize for that right now. I had no idea that he ever that he ever had anything to do uh, with the Klan. I'm ashamed. Uh, immediately, as soon as I found out, somebody told me, I looked into it, which is, uh, you can do now that you may look into whatever you want to, pretty much, and I did, and he's gone. Let me say right now, well, you know he was gone. I, as soon as I found out, everybody knew that he was gone, and and I understand, I hope you all understand that Bert Hofford is also gone, uh, who I, you know, chose to replace, Mr. Blevins, uh, when I found, as soon as I found out, he had been in the Klan years and years ago. Gone. Right out the door. And and let me say right now, I'm not going to make another mistake like that. It's the last thing I want to do because I want to have your confidence as your mayor. I uh, made a couple of bad choices, but as soon as I realized that I corrected it. And let me say right now that I am proud to announce uh, my, my third, and, and I will go ahead and say best choice for Deputy Mayor, Mr. Avery Plum. I'm looking forward to getting the good. Hey, Jackie. What? Mayor Jackie. What? Hey, it's Dunlap here from the Dunlap News Journal. I am trying to do my talk to the people, the mayor talk. You're not supposed to be on here. Avery Plum's in the Klan. Why? Avery Plum. Hey, the new, what is he? What's his uh, position I'd, in your cabinet? I'm deputy mayor. De your new deputy mayor. First deputy mayor. First deputy mayor, Avery Plum, is a member of the Ku Klux Klan. I, now, I'm going, I just because I don't know for sure that you, I'm going to look into it because I can do that now as a mayor. I can uh, look into things. Let me, hey, Avery, are you in the Klan? Yeah, see, he's, he's nodding. He thumbs up. Well, get He's out of here. He's enthusiastic about it, too. He is get. enthusiastically a Klan member. Let me just make sure. I got to get this down for uh, my big juicy story. Uh, Mayor Brawls picks third Klan now member I'd for Cabinet. Shut up. Hang on. Get out of here right now. Take all that with you. Put all that back in the box and get out. What did you think he was going to do with all that Klan paraphernalia, if not? Well, it's cheesy stuff, isn't it? What is it? But go... Just get it off and get out of here. Riddled with racists, Mayor you, Brawls. No, just you shut up right now. Listen here, Avery, you could have saved me a lot of time and a lot of people some heartache and, and made my job a lot easier if you'd have just told me that you was in the Ku Klux Klan. You should have just said that. I. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows well, it. Well, I didn't. if I'd have known it, I'd have never given him the job. It ain't funny. All right, fine. Well, let me let me reassure everyone listening right now that I, I will no longer. I'm going. I'm going to look into things which I thought I was doing, but because a mayor can do that, a mayor can. If he wants to look into something, I call on the phone. Who would uh, hey, Mayor Brawls uh, Dunlap from Dunlap News Journal? Well, you Who shut would you call? Exactly on the phone. It depends on what I'm looking into. But if I was looking into it, I'd know who they tell me who to call. I call them and I look into it. Now, I did on Avery Plum, but maybe the person I'm asking to look into things 
Probably need, in the clan too. That's what I I need to get someone to look into that fella that I call up when I need to look into things. Because I don't want any... Let me make this clear right now to all the people in Murfreesboro who are listening. I know... There are no... As far as I know, as of now, he just... He walked out the door. He took that... What he is to... Whatever the figurines are, I don't... They didn't look at them. Whatever it is. He took them off the table. He's gone. Mayor Brault, if I may, I have one another question about all this what? divisive rhetoric. If you're going to stand up here as the mayor of Murfreesboro, I just think that the way you're talking to these Klan members and calling them racist and saying, what? you racist Klan members will what have no place in my cabinet, what to me that just seems divisive and, and maybe part of the if reason I that you lost this mayoral election. Well, I, I didn't lose it. I am mayor. How are you making a loss? Oh, that's it? right. You did win. You won, and then you put all them Klan members in. You were really popular. I didn't intend to do that. It's just that down here in the South, you find out now, some of these people used to be in the Klan. Right. There's, There's two recent, currents and two, one, one former. Well, he was in, you know. Reserves. The first term, Obama, he was in, but he quit after that. Uh Hopefully for the right reasons. They I don't told know. me they could call him up any time if they needed him. Why? Huh? That's what he said. He's a reservist. I don't want racist working in the mayor's office. Not even reservist racist? No, no, nobody racist. I don't want it. Look, I, this is, there's a couple things going on here. We did not know until Trump was elected how many Klan members there were. I, that's true. There were some I always heard tell, and of course, that's, you know. That they, may be our privilege. Go. They, they're going up and down the street all the time. That, that's as loud as anything else. I thought young people were awful driving the car and being loud. Now we got some people in the 40s or 50s out there with uh, awful flags and saying awful things and running up and down the street, and, you know. There was a time a few years ago, or maybe a couple of weeks ago, when if you asked Avery Plum if he was in the Klan, he would have said no, or he might have said, yeah, but don't tell nobody. But as you can see, today he gave uh, two thumbs up, and he, he took a selfie of himself uh, holding his hood. What? Well, I didn't ask him point blank because I figured if he was paying attention to everything, he would know already that I don't want clan members. I just, mm, that sounds I just like fine you're to, not paying attention to no, things. No, yeah, I'm going to look into it. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to have someone look into the fella that's looking into things for me, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Because I'm going to, let me say, make it clear, I don't want the Murphy Sparrow People to be confused. I, there will be no clan members in my cabinet group, whatever it is, deputy mayors. Um, and and let me say right now, I had a second deputy mayor. I was happy to announce that, and I did. As far as I know, nobody said anything to me about Mister Dreb being up. A clan member, and I, he just don't seem like the type to me, actually, and I don't think that he is. And it seems to me, you want to say something bad about whoever I put in my cabinet, first off. Now, if they're in the clan, I appreciate you telling me, but still. You mm -hmm. seem like you got to have something on every single body. Well, all I got, uh, Mr. Brawls Dunlap from the Daily uh, Dunlap News Journal uh, all I got is just the people in your cabinet that's in the Klan, which is a lot. I, you know, it's... There go. There was a lot. Say, was. He swept out the door. He took all that stuff out the door. It's gone. And then uh, some members of your cabinet who are obviously ghost hurt birds oh, turned men. Don't start that. That is a bunch of bull. This bull man, hockey. this man, Mr. Mayor, would you... Uh, deny that the man that you've hired as your second assistant mayor, uh, Mr. Dribb, second deputy. second deputy assistant mayor, Mr. Dribb, is the same man I saw oh, when that's... I was in jail, and he turned from a bird to a man, and he she... had, he looks like Shut. Evan McMullen, Shut and your he mouth. has a nose that sometimes a beak, and Drib is bird spelled backwards. Now, I'll give you that he happened to be in the drunk tank that night, but that was for different reasons. He, you know, had an issue, had bad 
him, Mrs. Dribb, just uh, everything now, worked out now. Have you met Mrs. Dribb? Well, I had met her personally, no, but I'm, you know. And what are you going to do with all them eggs? Will you shut your mouth about this? Now, see, since you said that on here, I don't know how long ago, um, you said it on a podcast we used to do, and this, you said that you saw something. Now, everybody's out there saying they saw Mr. Drip. Look, people don't turn into birds. They don't do it. That's sh- stupid, and I don't know why people keep saying that. That people, Mr. Drib turned into a bird. Now, he's Mr. Drib, he's a man. He's a grown man, he ain't ever been a bird, can't turn into a bird. Would If he could, I doubt it. Well, he might won't fly. People, everybody had dreamed about that or something. But other than that. I'd love to, you know oh, what I'd do? You. If I was talking to some asshole I didn't want to talk. Hey, I don't mean to derail your press conference, but if I was talking to some asshole who's like, hey, you, you know, it's just another day, I was just like hanging out and talking to my wife or some bullshit. Hey. I'd be like, you know what, fucker? Hey! I'm going to fly the fuck away from get, you. I do, if that should, and I'd I'd be like, get down here and listen to my story. And I'd be like, too bad, asshole. I got wings. Shut your mouth. Shut this silly, sh- stupid. And watch your mouth. I think it's illegal. To, to talk in front of a mayor that way, is, uh, and I'll look into that. I got I'll find freedom out of the about press. That. I got freedom of oh, the press. Oh, press, my... Look, people can't turn into birds. People are saying this, hearing that. Used to be everybody dressed like me. Now it's everybody turning into birds. Uh, people, way well, shape shift, whatever it is. Now, people don't turn into birds. Last person I think would ever turn into a bird is Mr. Drip. He's a good man. As far as I can tell, he... Nice fella. Seems to know what he's talking about. I think he'll make a fine second a deputy mayor, deputy mayor. Until he murders you. Oh, shut your mouth. Which is his plan. Oh, shut your mouth. But let me make this clear. Let me just put this out there, because I'm not saying you never know, but I'm just saying, if you are a burden person, a person, and you know, you can only stay hidden for so long. Because, if, the, if you know, even if I think it's ridiculous, if the townspeople are concerned and ask me to look into it, I'm a man, I'm going to look into it. So, let, so be forewarned. And I feel like it, it, saying this, but if you a person that turned into a bird or a bird turned into a person, either which way that works, you might want to be doing that somewhere outside city limits. Turn in a bird and fly on out of Murfreesboro if that's what you're going to do because we ain't going to have it here. And I don't appreciate you saying uh, Mr. Dreb was a person that was turning into a bird. It's bad enough you had to tell everybody he was in the drunk tank. Yeah, I, he was. He was in there. I got pictures. You ain't got no damn pictures. Not of him, a- of him, but I got pictures of myself on the floor and I got pictures of where I threw up. All and I right. Got I don't care about nobody. And then cares somebody about else, that. they put somebody else in there, and <laughs> he walked in. It. Just, <laughs> I got pictures of his foot. Shut up. So those are the pictures I got. But if somebody stole my phone, just enough. But I could. Nobody cares about that. They, they, I'm trying to talk to the community on here. This is the time. The word from the mayor, and I'm trying to. Comfort and let my constituents, let the people here uh, be feel confident in my judgment and, and and apologize once again for evidently hiring three gentlemen and, and immediately firing them. That's more than a lot of people do. That were in a in a a, a Klu Klux Klan. They had no idea about that. Would never consider them for a job of first. I'm gonna talk to Mister Drab about it now. That's an that's a open field right there. Well, he's going to want you to or, to hire more bird men. Oh, with hired more. Just shut your mouth. I am, look, if, you he, if to, he's good enough to be second deputy mayor, I'm going to move him on up to deputy first deputy mayor. Well, then maybe your second deputy ought to be, and I hate to say it, but Dr. Bird Lady and Nurse Jimmy, because if anybody can get to the bottom of whether this man is a bird and a ghost hurt bird who's out to destroy you and our town, oh, just it'd probably shut, be uh, shut your those mouth. guys. Shut uh, up. Just, they ain't got nothing to do with this. Dr. Bird Lady, she's out there, you know, 
helping sick people. Ain't got time to come in here and harass my new. I'd like to make, I might as well go ahead and make this announcement now. So won't keep any suspense till next time. I'm going to do it right now. I guess I, the mayor, I can do that. Uh, our new first uh, deputy, mayor deputy, Mr. Drill. I want to congratulate him. He, he's not here. He didn't know I was going to do this. I guess I should do it again so he can be here to enjoy it. Does he have a first name? Huh? Does he have a first name? I'm. Everybody got a first name. We, you know. Not birds. Oh, shut your mouth. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Welcome to the Dunlap News Journal, your home for fake news, reactionary bullshit, and racist memes, with today's guest, disgraced mayor, Jackie Brawls. I, the way to disgraced, what does that mean? Do you think I should I should have started sooner, because I feel like that music run out too fast. You want to do it again? No. I don't know how you do it. The no, music it's, I think it's fine. I think this in the future probably I'll just come in a little earlier so, so I can get all that in and call you disgraced. I don't want – don't call me disgraced. Well, I, I think disgraced. it's important for our uh, listeners to know that uh, the current mayor of Murfreesboro is Jackie Broles. If you've been listening, uh, folks, to – uh, the Red State Update podcast, which, by the way, is today, as we're recording this, is November 21st, is four years old. Jackie, that was the very first one we talked on here four years ago. Four right? years ago, would you have ever thought that you would be the mayor? All right. No, I After didn't. riding uh, the podcast fame train into the office of mayor, you'd hire all these Klan members. D- and a human bird. Ain't no such thing as a human bird. That's rude of you to say that about Mr. Drip. I did not know Ron uh, Blevins or Bert Hofford or Avery Plum. I had no idea that they were in the Klan. I thought that they, they should have known better that you, if by being in the Klan, that, you know, I didn't expect Klan members coming here to get a job in politics. That's the last place I thought I'd see them. Where did you think you'd see him? At the Dairy Queen? Well, used to, you know, you saw him at night, if you, you know, in the wrong place, you know, do up to no good. But right. nowadays, they, well, they are to, they're everywhere. Just it's, to clarify, you're saying the Klan was up to no good, right? Not the people they were terrified. No, I, up to no good. Klan's up to no good, yes. I'm going to twist that around when I post my Facebook article. Why? When I read that them Macedonian teenagers were making all that money, I said, I'm going to have two jobs, church accountant and fake news provider for the Internet. Macedonian, what? And, folks, I am I am about as rich as Mayor Jackie Broles, I'd say. Last week, I made $350. Why? And that's just from one job. Oh hell! The church accountant job paid me one hundred and twenty-six. So this is the most money I've ever had, except for that one time I stole a car. All right, shut your mouth on that. Well, I'm glad as mayor that I'm providing an economy that someone like yourself can do so well in. Happy to hit. You need a job. You need, you know. Better than laying the ass around like well, you usually do. I do have to thank you, Jackie. You are providing the the, uh, the perfect environment for my fake news to thrive. Last week, uh, my biggest article was uh, Jackie Broles uh, cuts his own skin tags off. Uh, and that got passed around. I made $36 off that one. Skin, what are you talking about? I ain't got and nothing. And what I did was, I, thanks to... Uh, 
Global Telecommunications. I got on Skype and had Anki down in Mexico with them prostitutes. All right. I had him do me up a damn Photoshop of you getting some toenail clippers Wait. and going after your skin tags. What are you talking about? You said you was never going to talk to him again. What are y'all buddies now? Yep. That. I, you listen, it's hard to find somebody that can do Photoshop. All right. He's going he said he'd get me a, a stole copy of it, but I don't know. Like Greek, it doesn't make any sense. No offense to Greeks. I'm sure they some of them know how to do Photoshop, but I can't figure it out. What is photo he draws things is what he does. That's Anki photos jobs. Folks, this is the mayor sitting here spouting this nonsense. Can you believe it? Can you believe what this you world we woke up? Ask? You want me to come on here you, to, to you dumb little sh- news show, with it, whatever this is, and I'm sitting here and you're wasting my damn time. Nobody well, wants, if you won't sit in here and talk about yourself, I'm a mayor. I have important things to do. I may have some more clan members to fire. I'm not completely sure about that. I have things that I have to attend to. Well, we do appreciate the mayor stopping well, by. Well, just if you ask your dumb questions and let me get on and, about uh, my business. Uh, your uh, antagonistic attitude towards the press uh, leads us to uh, question number one here. Uh, as we record this, the rumor going around is that uh, Donald Trump lured members of the elite media press into his uh, penthouse. Yeah. And, of course... Here's where I would say, and he murdered them. But he didn't do that, so I guess we can all be grateful that Wolf Blitzer lives. But, supposedly, he did read them the right act. This is a rumor. Now, tomorrow you may be listening to this, and it could have come out. Wolf Blitzer could have come on TV and said, No, Donald Trump shook my hand. He touched my hair. He made me a sandwich. Everything was great. But supposedly Donald Trump went down. He said, "Jeff Zucker, you're a liar. Your your uh, network's full of liars, and you're a liar too. And you're all liars. I can't believe I let you in here." And he just took the opportunity to go down the row and call them all liars. That's what he used to do. That was his job on TV and that show. I never did watch it all the way through. But didn't fu- he, he, no, he said, "You're fired, not your liars." I thought he said, you, uh, "You're a liar and you're a liar." Get no, out. he said, "You're fired and you're fired." Well, where did he say that you was a liar all the time? That was on uh, the in the primaries. Oh yeah, Hillary. Yeah. You remember when it used to be really funny when he made fun of mush faced weasels, and now it's terrifying. I'm ashamed of myself for enjoying that so much now. Yeah, because there was a I, I, I would have read this article and it said Donald Trump yells at Wolf Blitzer. I'd be like, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, but now nah, it's just scary. Now it's yeah. just scary. Even though it's CNN, and they all deserve it. Yeah. Still, he shouldn't be the one to doing it. Should be me. Let me ask you this, Jackie, which brings me to my question: As mayor, when you think you gonna get the balls to bring me in the room, call me a liar. Call what do you, you think's going to happen to you? You call me a liar. I don't have to call you a liar. The whole town knows you full of mess. Half of the stuff come out of your mouth. If that's true, then how come I'm making so much money off my fake I news don't know. that I was able to go to Walmart? I don't see how anybody makes money doing this on the computers, talking on this. I went to Walmart to see if they had any uh, Christmas Twixes. Like Christmas. Maybe a Twix tree. I'd be interested in that now. That's something I'd like to talk I about. I didn't yeah. find nothing, but I was going to uh, buy some with my fake news money. Couldn't you I, just have Twix egg? You'd put Twix egg under a tree in that Christmas in there, something egg with eggnog. Right? Folks, Twix egg can you nogs. believe what we're listening to here? You voted for him. And I'm not going to, I don't, right. don't send me no articles saying, Oh, how they ignored the white working man, and that's why Jackie Broles is mayor. You know what? If they're so dumb they wanted Jackie Broles to be mayor, they don't deserve a damn job. What? How many damn jobs are we supposed to give them till they quit voting for Jackie Broles? What, are they going to work overtime? I'm going to try to. That's blackmail. Give me a job or I'll vote for Jackie Broles. People voted the way they want to, and I'm. Why'd you go steal another prescription pad, cracker? What? And then come back to me. We'll have a real mayor in office, not this son of a bitch. I'm not gonna sit here and 
you're not asking me any questions. You're just making. Who else was in that room that Trump called a liar? Do you think that media elite? Room? I don't know who it, the pre, who is a media elite. Uh, Wolf Blesher. Who's that? Who I'll meet the press. Uh, he went in. I think. I don't what's know. It? Chuck Todd. He Chuck, went in. What's a what's a man that sits at the wooden table and talks to people, puts you to sleep? Abraham Lincoln. No. The mate, the newsman sits on the rolls. He sits at oh, the Oh, Charlie Rose, he at was the in there. Ta- table, talk real low. And Can just- you? This is, uh, it's horrifying and awful. It's a little funny. I don't want to enjoy it at all. But just the fact of all them being in a room, talking to each other, it's like a Saturday Night Live sketch already. You know, they're just gonna do it next week whenever they come back. Yeah. It may be more like a mad TV sketch, uh, honestly. The president ain't going to like it. He ain't going to like Saturday Night Live doing nothing, nothing else. Now, what are you going to do when the MTSU channel sketch comedy show does uh, Mayor Jackie Bowles skit? They ain't no MTSU channels. Ain't nothing worth ever watching on there. They got, no, you ain't you ain't seen the, the funny boys? The funny boys? Spell with a Z and an no. I E F U N N I E B O Y Z. The I funny would boys. Look at that. If you said I got something called Funny Boys, watch this. I, it doesn't sound funny to me. Well, they've been making fun of you this whole time. Well, so be it. If that's what makes the college only kids happy these days, so be it. Well, it is one of the things is making fun of you. Well, if they if they's in college, MTSU is said let them go on TV and make fun of people. Maybe might get them to you know study the books and and what they're supposed to go to college to get out of there and get a job. You know, but they won't spend time on. Well, they're fighting for freedom of speech on there all too. Right. They, well, they, they all met they, on Reddit. It's so a they're college. sort of a they're kind of an alt right comedy group. The only funny thing I the only thing I like is when they make fun of you. All right. Everything else is pretty racist. Well, like what? I don't want to hear about any more racist. I, I've had enough. That's why they're in, doing it on the MTSU TV channel. They have to do it on some place that nobody watches. Otherwise, they'd get uh, in trouble with the administration. With, but with administrations, you know, you can't. They, they they push the envelope. They say it's it's all in good fun and that we need to get over ourselves, special snowflakes, all that mess. I don't know. Some of it just seems mean-spirited. Funny boys. I, I don't care about watching that. They can make fun of me if I want to. If that's what makes them happy. Well, see. they were a lot. If you went to the Goodwill around here, it was easy to pick up a cheap Jackie Burles costume, and they said that's what led to the impression of you. That- Normally, they just pick on... Uh, minorities, gays, women, but they picked on you just uh, because there were just so many suits, and so they they did. They found like four in a goodwill. I'm gonna make a law against that now that we already been through this to hell and back with dressing up like me. Don't nobody do that anymore. That sounds like Trump. Next thing Trump will be passing a law saying you can't dress up like him and be on Saturday Night Live and be named Alec Baldwin. Huh? I dropped my pen. Jackie, uh, Mayor Jackie Dunlap here from the Dunlap News Shut Journal. You, uh, you might. What do you want? Uh, I have a couple more questions here. Uh, do you have a favorite pick from uh, Trump's cabinet picks? I know you've been also building your mayoral cabinet, so you probably know how hard it can well, be. Well, I hadn't been too successful on that, and again... I want to make it clear if anybody listening to this interviews on this, I want to make it clear I'm learning from my mistakes and I will, I will do my best. Uh, everything in my power not to hire anybody else is in the clan. I'm going to stop that right now. Now, he's still kind of outdoing you because he has the Breitbart man who's sort of an alt-right like, new clan. I won't say about him right now. I didn't know what you was talking about. You said, what is it? Pale kids or something, pla- and you showed me a little picture, a car thing, and that's what he does. He looked just like one of those he monster does look babies, like a human garbage pail. He's a monster baby. It, that's what they look like to me. You know, he ain't doing whatever. You know, they do different things on well, little. He looks like he does look like Chucky a little bit too, like you, like a grown up, like Chucky who grew up and was trying to hide the fact that he used to be Chucky. Ah, Chucky. Oh, that's that. I don't. That's that. I don't like that. 
I don't like if it. If you put him in that little shirt and the overalls and give him a knife and like a Ron McDonald wig, he looked just like fucking Chucky. All right, watch. I don't want shit in B. Listen to the language. If he looked like one monster baby, you're right. He probably going to look like every monster baby there is. And then you got Jeff Sessions in. How many people in the Trump cabinet look like damn Illinois Nazis? Why? Like between Mike Pence and Jeff Sessions, they all look like Henry Gibson characters. Who? And cra- how many crazy generals is he going to hire? I mean, everybody knew it was going to be Dr. Strangelove before it started, and now he's just continuing to hire. Like, any of these generals could be the ones that it causes the nuclear. Like, we can't even pick, like, well, and then that crazy general is going to cause nuclear war. Which one? It's a one, the Flynn one, S1. And one named Mad Dog. Yeah. He's going to be in there probably. Rince Priebus, he turned out to be the damn genius. He was like, oh, Rince Priebus was the one that normalized Donald Trump during the primaries when everybody started getting on board. And Rince Priebus said, oh, yeah, no, he's okay. And then that, like, helped normalize him. And then he gets elected president. And then to, they hires Rince Priebus, like, to normalize him further. Like, Rince Priebus is a genius. He, like, normalized him. They got a job out of normalizing him by normalizing him further. That, the normalizer. It, it, it is, unfortunately, it's going to be normal uh, looking at what Donald Trump does all the time because we ain't but a what? A week of president elect, and I, you go down the list. If something you could say about every damn person, he go, you know, he's on the Twitters or Twatters, Twitters, on there constantly and, and mad about this. This is what's going to be for four damn years, except maybe nuclear war and, you know, rights and. Something There's a lot of little uh, different paths we can take to get to the same destination, which yeah. is annihilation. But it's going to be like this all the time. I mean, that's going you will forget what he did the other day because it's what he did today. Great. Everybody talked back to him screaming at reporters, which I agree. It's kind of funny. I do kind of enjoy, not, you know, him or whoever. They need to be yelled at, but I don't, you know, not for his sake. But yeah, yell at reporters for reasons other than you're Donald Trump and an asshole. Yeah, like, if you want to get... yell at Wolf Blitzer, go ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. But Donald Trump, the president, probably should not be the one doing it. They like two hundred and fifty mil. How many people in this country? A lot of them. Yeah. Who ain't Donald Trump? That could be yelling at Wolf Blitzer. We should have been doing that before the election. Maybe calling all these people into a room and yelling at them. And now he's the one doing it. Yep. He ruins everything. Well, he went in there and did that day four. Yesterday, he was, uh, uh, what is it, Mike Pence went to New, New York and went to see, well, you told me it's a rapping thing, and I don't like rapping. But Hamilton, Hamilton. Hamilton, Hamilton. He went to go see Hamilton, Hamilton, uh-huh. and the man got on to stop the show or something or did, uh, danced out there to him or whatever. I think he danced out into the audience. Yeah. And called him and an threw his leg, like he did a high kick, and, yeah. and put that leg up on like, uh, like one side of his head, like that heel, them old timey heels of his shoes. Yeah, those Just old shoes. That's what back in clippity clopping didn't want to get kicked back in Hamilton Hamilton days. No, no sure. people died if you kicked them back in. And some people dueled, and some people, you know, if you knew how to kick, you well, say a kick duel was the worst duel of all. Well, not, well, you know, that's where you know, that's. Like American Kung Fu, but different, you know, with the shoes and whatnot. So, uh, Pence goes to Hamilton, and Hamilton says, what they, what did they say at Hamilton, Hamilton? I don't know what happened. He got mad at him, kicked him, and called him SOB or this or that. And Trump got mad about that. So, you know, there's something else that happened. You know, he's mad at that. He's got, let me tell you right now, people are like, why is he arguing with you know, what is Broadway, or why is he arguing with Hamilton, Hamilton? Why is he so president? When I, before this is over, and I and when I say before this, I mean possibly next week, just go down the list who he's going to be arguing with. I mean, this who I, it, outside of whoever he's picking to be his cabinet and Wolf Blitzer, he's going to be mad on computer. He'll be mad at everybody. I mean, it's going to be, shine out live, it's going to be, 
és, you know, és Hamilton Hamilton, és go be a chef boy all day, és go be, you just go down at last. It, you know, I am, you know, everybody, he gonna fight with them at some point. You know, you it'll be a sign of a badge of courage or something if Donald Trump, if the president went after you at some point. People gonna like, well, he, he yelled at me last week, you know. Oh, man, I wish he'd get mad at us. We could use the downloads. That's true, yeah. Oh, and then if we got Matt Chef Boy RD, we could get him to be a guest on this show. I'd like to talk to him, recipes and stuff. I'd, lo- you know, as a, someone who was a formal, uh, worked in a restaurant, market c- cook. Uh, and they tore that down. That is gone. Well, they're putting up, you know, it's going to be, you know, bigger and better is what they want. That's you know? Yes, I think it's going to be real good for the economy. Get it, get some hot chicken down here in Murfreesboro. Nashville. It's law, law, offices, law offices in Nashville, Nashville lawyers, lawyers and hot chicken. And hot chicken. And that's going to be, when they get up and running, I'm, you're going to see a lot of people, you know, people drive up Nashville. Now people going to be driving into Murfreesboro. And as may I welcome that uh, new business, and I hope it's a franchise. I hope everything works out. The Lord knows if anybody can run a business, somebody smart uh, about business, that's a Nashville lawyer. Oh, man. And I have my differences with them, but bless their hearts, I wish a bit wish them the best. Well, you ought to put them in your administration, well, maybe. They're too busy with that hot chicken. To r- they help don't out have time. the city? Yeah, well, they, they are. They're doing a job helping out the city, as far as I'm concerned, providing, you know, it's what I used to do, provide good uh, food. I didn't provide a. Uh, uh, in a lawyer in a law services because I you did, made some copies. Well, I made co- Well, I work here for them, but I'm saying for other people when before they were even there, I never I may have given some advice, but that advice would probably would have been you need to get up Nashville and see a lawyer. Well, now you ain't got to go up to Nashville see no Nashville lawyer, no sir. Uh, you got Nashville lawyers right here in town and eat you some delicious that hot. People love that hot chicken. They talk about that all the time. You are a big booster of uh, Murfreesboro local businesses, well, Nashville lawyers, and you, hot as chicken. Your mayor, that's, that's my job. And I'm sh- I got distracted again. We he he got he got mad at Hamilton Hamilton, and then he, he what did they pay off the what I can't hey, keep up with. A that lot all. of people said it was a distraction. Just as your clan firings are a distraction from the fact that you have a human bird in your office. Oh, shut up that about you, birds. That Trump, almost as devious as you are, what? he distracted from his set Trump University uh, uh, settlement when he settled that lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. He claimed they're never going to do that. He's going to fight them to the end, he said. Yeah. And uh, distracted by having Mike Pence go see Hamilton. Now, Mike Pence may... Honestly, that is that's a conspiracy theory which I like to write about and make money off of, so I can go to Walmart and buy Twix eggs. But I don't know if Trump is smart enough to distract from. I think he blunders into distractions because he is constantly doing something stupid. But I think we may give him too much credit to say that he is purposefully. He, he, he put tickets in Mike Pence's pocket and said, I want you to go see Hamilton tonight. I that does not make off sense of, to that, me. No, he don't, he don't think that far ahead. But it makes sense to me that he would actually get mad at Broadway because that's part of that Manhattan, New York society elite thing that he wanted to be a part of that he never got to be a part of if we are if we were making the, the cheap like uh, uh, Fonzie stars as uh, Ebenezer Screws TV Screws Ebenezer I'm sorry Ebenezer Screws is what I watch every Christmas. That's Christmas, yeah, him. Ebenezer Scrooge, yeah, is what children can enjoy. Because Ebenezer Screws, I what? mean, he screws. All right, I don't. I, He's like, boy, what day is it? And it's like, it's Christmas. Like, well, come up here and get no, them breeches off. Just what I don't want to And when I say boy, I mean he is of, of, of con- at the age of consent. Watch him out. And, and wanna- bring that goose. But, folks, what I was saying was the cheap-ass TV movie version of Trump's life is he just wanted to be accepted by people eating at Tavern on the Green or whatever yeah. and then they put he puts his name on a bunch of buildings and then the world blows up in a fiery ball. If you went to I guess my question Mayor Jackie is if you uh, went to the Murfreesboro uh, 
Play Actors Club, and yeah. they were doing a, a Hamilton, Hamilton, or what? They were trying to do something about Paul well, Revere. First off, is you see us rapping. Now, I love kicking. I, nothing I like more than kicking, but I don't like rapping. It's not racist. I do not mean to be racist. I know there are a lot of people who enjoy rap, and people who are white, black, all different color rap. I don't like it, and I don't know. I don't like people dressed up. I don't really like Paul Revere and the Raiders. I didn't like a teapot. That's my main problem with them. So well, this is two different things. There's two. Like. You putting those two things together. Also, it's a play. Well, yeah. And it's in New York. Yeah. So yeah, I can see you not enjoy. But let's say you went down to see uh, Murphy's Law Play Actors Club when they reworked after the success of Hamilton, Hamilton, and they reworked goddamn this horse into goddamn I Paul Revere's it. horse. GD. GD, GD Paul Revere's horse. Now, why would somebody say that about, unless it's the British, that they, they would say that. I think that. it was told from the British point of view. Well, I don't want to see that. Well, what I if you went down it. there and they were like, by Jove, Mayor Jackie Broyles is in the audience? And just a hot come over to you and no. just say, like, do a better job. I My car hit a pothole on the way to rehearsal. Yeah. Um. What would you say to that? They, and I'd, I, I, at first, are they supposed to do that? Because some of them shows where the murder mystery, I don't like that. I've been to something where you went there and you'd eat, and then there's a murder mystery, and they're acting like idiots in the same room with you. You know, when they talk like to you. Like coming up to you like, hey, did you see my, uh, yeah, uh, different my brother? I, he's got, he's really got it in for this guy, Polly. I don't like it. Now, is Hamilton Hamilton like that? Do they go out and maybe he just accidentally kicked him like he was supposed to do? I don't. That might be it. That, well, I, then I, that's a misunderstanding right there. That's what that is. So you think Mike Pence went to Hamilton Hamilton not knowing it was interactive theater and it was all just a misunderstanding? I don't know what it is. I've never seen Hamilton Hamilton for various reasons, and I don't know what it is. So I'm asking questions. That's how I look into it. I'm a man now. I can do that sort of thing. I can look into things. I have a few more questions. Who would you call to ask about Hamilton Hamilton, the theater department? I'm sure I'd get somebody over at, you know, Murphy Players Club, give me a president whoever's doing something over there they know about plays and stuff they tell they, me what it is they kick the funny boys out of uh the theater department well, good. at mtsu because they were making it an unsafe space a what space unsafe Uns- jackie i was going to say this for the good news section like last week we talked about uh uh uh, uh, Jackie Chan getting in. Uh, oh, RAR bless stuff. his heart. Bless his heart. So yeah. I was going to save this for the good news section of the show today, but I don't know it, how you're going to react to it. So I'm going, I think this is important for citizens of Murfreesboro uh, to get your reaction to right. this news story before I can twist it around into some. All uh, right. What are, you, what are you trying to tell click me? Clickbait, some uh, race baiting, clickbaiting. Enough of that. Uh, Ryman unveils concept for Times Square venue Eyes Opry expansion. Well, they're going to move the opera up to New York. Yeah. Uh, New That's York. That's franchise. That's franchise right there. Yeah. You just get you everywhere. You know, I will, where do I go to hear some? What's that? Do they, the, the, the Blues Brothers do that too? Both of them have. A place they're called Blues Brothers. You go different. I I seen pictures. I ain't ever been to one. If you like that kind of music, you go there and get a hamburger. Grand Ole Opry to it open entertainment space in New York City. So that doesn't bother you that in New York City. To me, this is this goes even further than uh, this is the Trumpification of New York. Yes, people feel threatened. People feel like they're going to be shipped away. People's rights are being torn from them. But we said from the very beginning that he was the ultimate Yankee, and now he has taken, he is New York city Yeah. The ultimate Southern... Uh, uh, Loudmouth Yankee. He took the Grand Ole Opry. What, he did it? He's taken... Well, how, what, how do you explain this timing? Uh, well, he'll run it in the ground. He'll, he'll ruin that. Opry City Stage, in addition to serving up some of Nashville's signature food and homegrown music. See, there you go. It's food. It's like a Blues Brothers. And now, both of them got, they ride around the Blues cars. Feature they live entertainment. Stores. Simulcast performances from the Grand Ole Opry House. 
the iconic Bluebird Cafe, some performances. Was that's just quiet? That's too quiet. That's people with guitars. Oh, Bluebird, that's awkward every time. I went there one time and sat there. Yeah, it's always awkward. They're right there, right in front of your face. And they, I don't, I, if I go to a concert, I won't be way down there and I can look at them. They can't see me. I don't like it when there's somebody in your face singing at you. If I wanted to see a concert at a library, I'd kill myself. Yeah. For 91 years, the Grand Ole Opry has connected country music fans with their favorite artist, blah, blah, blah. Now they're going to take it up to New York City and ruin everything. I'm sure he'll outlaw country music unless it's in New York City. I ain't going to put anything past him to try to do, yeah. So you're okay with that. So it wound up being good news. You think it's more like it the It ain't Blues good or brothers. bad to me. It ain't nothing. It's just like I said, that's what people do. They do, you know, we're always working. It's a franchise. You know, there wasn't but one McDonald's at one time or another. And now they're everywhere. The surprise is taking them this long, quite honestly. You could have, remember, they used to have Opera Land years and years ago. They got rid of that. Yeah. We got Dollarwood. That well, you know, that's up east in it. Say that's their business. And I ain't got to concern myself with that. The geography of Tennessee lends itself to have been uh, three different states, really: West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, well, East Tennessee. East yeah. Tennessee. We're in the geographic center, right here in the middle, yeah. Of Tennessee, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Jackie, I got another question for you. And this is more of a fun one. Uh, as mayor of Murfreesboro, and you presided over one of the most uh, 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 divisive elections in uh, recent history. What do you mean? And uh, with uh, uh, President Trump in control of the free world, uh, and people listening to this right this very minute may be driving over to somebody's house for Thanksgiving. Here it is. It's Thanksgiving week, and people may be listening to this. Oh, how yeah. do, how would you recommend people uh, bridge the gap between maybe a relative who supported Trump and they didn't, or they did support Trump and the relatives didn't, or they supported you? And the relatives wish Struck Jekyll was still in charge. But he is still sort of a, what do you call him, ambassador? Something ambassador, yeah. You made him that uh, ambassador to Chuck E. Cheese. Well, that's it. You said, you, you told him he could be the ambassador to whatever he wanted to be, and he said Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. But, I mean, I don't think you can legally do that. Well, no, but, you know, if that's what, you know. Because he's been going in there demanding tokens. Ain't going to hurt nobody give him a few of those. That, you, know. <laughs> you don't run that restaurant. You can't just well, tell him. Well, I'll go down there and give him a few dogs, give him something to do. He's you know. down there all the time, and he's harassing yeah. people. That's, he's not harassing people, playing old games, looking at the songs or whatever it is, animals. That's, if he's happy, I'm happy. That's fine. Is he? It's hard to tell if he's happy or not. Mm. If he's not chew, if he's chewing paper, he's happy. Well, if he's sitting in here, he in the corner. I know he ain't happy, and and I don't have a heart to tell him that he, you know, you just have to go. You know, that's not how I plan on being mayor, kicking people out and tell them they can't be here, or tell them where they can be. I, you know, won't try to give him something to do. You know, a little little rascal, he gets a little out of hand every now and then. But I'll go down there, give him have much money for tokens. It, it don't, it I don't cost nothing. Dottie's down there, and she's having to go down there and watch him, and she's smoking in there, and they say you can't smoke in here. And I suppose they, they, they did that law a long time ago. Yeah, you can't and she smoke says, in well, my son's an ambassador to Chuck E. Cheese. I'll smoke where I want to. Well, I heard that, that pants, it, all that's going to change. They're going to they gonna let take a bunch of uh, restrictions. something else I heard today. Take a bunch of restrictions off that smoking, let you smoke wherever you want, advertising, things like that. Uh, you know, tobacco still the industry. They're going out of business because everybody quit smoking because, you know, it's, it's bad for you. I, found, I smoked too long myself, and doctors told me if I didn't quit, I was going to have, you know, trouble, you know, big well, trouble. So I heard Jeff Sessions hates pot smoking and says if you smoke pot, you ain't a good person. And that all these states just passed legal uh, pot. I, I go out in California right now. 
I ride up and down the road smoking a big old hey. joint, blowing that smoke out in a fucking cop's hey, face. Watch, I'm going to get up and leave here if you're going to talk like that. And I'll that. be like, I'm high hear. as hell. Welcome to California, baby. I almost said bitches, but it ain't. I'm trying not to say that anymore. Good. I mean, I'll, I'll not try not to say a bunch of other stuff, too. But the funny boys would call me a cuck. A what? A cuck. I don't know. Doesn't sound right, whatever that is. Folks, if you're heading home to Thanksgiving, Jackie, I, I guess my question is, everybody's trying to get along. Politically, culturally, this country is being ripped apart. And yet there's a day in which we celebrate uh, murdering Indians. And Not just that. Other and stuff eating chicken. Too, you know. It's not chicken, it's turkey, turkey. So, at what point during this meal where you're forced to eat it with a bunch of people you can't stand, uh, are you just supposed to pop them in the mouth? Well, if you are going to fight, make sure your gun should leave a gun in the car, and if it's your house, lock all, lock just for Thanksgiving. People get crazy with this stuff, so just unload, unarm, don't. Don't take, you know, of course, if one person doesn't do that, then the other person going to have to bring his. It's just everybody maybe just stay home Thanksgiving. Maybe this year you should just stay home. Because what are you going to do, try to convince somebody? Some people now, let's, let's just face it, and this is both sides. Some people just like to argue. And everybody got something to argue about these days. I'll tell you that right now. Maybe you should just go set up like a group text or like a, a, a Facebook thread and just argue on there and then agree not to talk about it while you eat. Why? Go on the computer instead of eating? Like, keep it civil in real life, but, why, but you texting each other under the table the whole time. Like, if you, you're racist. Well, see, that's what we wish the alt-right was like, is what you're saying right there. If they just did on computer, they'd be like, good God, enough of that. But, I mean, people are getting hurt. Stuff's happening. I don't like it on computer. I don't like it in your face. Uh, putting a hand on you or something. So, Mayor Jackie Bro says, uh, keep it civil. Please, yeah. Don't. That's both everybody, you know, just... Please try, don't do hate crimes. Try not. You shouldn't do that uh, Thanksgiving any time. Nobody needs to do that. I will say that for a disgraced mayor, you've actually said more about this than the president has. Huh? Well, he's busy arguing. That's true. He's busy screaming at reporters. I saw pictures of him. Meet, does he just meet people like at the base of that elevator and then... Like they get on the elevator, he lets them off at one floor, and he goes back up and takes a nap. Ah, but that's probably what's going on in there. You heard she ain't going to live. People mad about that. It's going to cost extra money and all this. I said, well, you, of all the things you complain about, going to complain about Secret Service uh, living in New York. Yeah, that's just, you know, if I want to live, she wants to live there, let her live. She's a grown woman. She can live where she wants to. If you had a chance uh, to get away from Donald Trump, wouldn't you take it? He ain't going to be living in the White House by himself. You think he, he ain't going to be there? So where's he going to live? He's going to be in New York, too. He'll show up there and make a speech and then fly just like he did for president. He'll fly back to New York. She's going to have at least one night a week where he ain't in that bed next to her. Yeah. And God bless her. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it turns into two nights a week. Can you imagine rolling over? I mean, good God almighty. I don't want to think about any of that personal stuff. I know. Uh -uh. So, good. Please, live in New York. Live wherever you want to. Yeah, he's supposed to be American. He's supposed to be able to do that. Unfortunately, she'll be able to do that, but we have to stay here. Yeah. You know, one other thing that he's probably doing while he's distracting us with all his fights is building a space shuttle. Why? A rocket to get off. Like, like he's like, let's be honest, guys. I'm going to fuck this up. So build. Some, that's why he's like him and Newt Gingrich. They're all like NASA, NASA. Of course, because he's going to ruin it. 
He's like, give NASA some money, let them build us a rocket to get the fuck out of here. All right, and the thing that out. makes me maddest about it all is Ranch Priebus bought himself a ticket on the getaway rocket. Just watch your mouth. Like, the people that are going to be on Mars repopulating the human race, one of them's little dick is Ranch hey, Priebus's. I don't want to hear it said that way. No. He's got Trump. A, they're building him a rocket. He's bringing East European models. And Ranch Priebus is going to uh, have children with them. Ranch that, Priebus is. That sounds like a worst episode of Star Trek I ever heard in my life. Uh, and Newt Gingrich. Star Trek, wait a minute. They did go to Nazi planet, didn't they? How did that turn out? Eh, you know, they left, I think. They couldn't even, Star Trek couldn't save them? I don't, maybe they turned it around. I don't know oh, what they did. They, they, I can't remember. I seen them all over and over again. They went to Nazi place and they told them they shouldn't do that. Which, you know, they that's what you should do if you seeing Nazi. Like now? Thing is said as mayor, they're gonna have to get me one of them, one of the little phones, all that. A they cell phone? That's why I don't know how to use one. They said we could have told you those people. Like if I could, they say you get a button on here, you take a picture with the phone. That's what everybody did. They said take a picture of them, hit a button, send it that way, and ask them if he's in the claim. And they said they could have just right then and there said. Oh, you, you know, send that pick a picture back to you of them dressed up in the hood, you know, or just give you a yes, you know. Who did the Klan endorse in, in the mayoral election? I could, a lot of people were running. I couldn't remember. It wasn't I, you. But no, it, was, it wasn't me. I don't, because they don't like me, you know. It was the biggest two that they split. The, the, if they'd have gotten together, if the Catholics and the Klan had gotten together, I would not be mayor right now. Well, luckily, that, that could never happen. Well, well, yeah, I did not suggest that it did. The, the, they, the, split, they split the vote. One went with somebody else. And the other oh, the other candidate one. was that, like, they didn't say who it was. It was just a guy in a hood. They couldn't well, say. Well, they wouldn't say. It'd be, they right. said they said if it won, they would reveal, you know, you they pull the, you know, everybody know then. And they wouldn't try to hide it then. But, it, you know, up to that point, you, it was, you know, and the Catholic candidate was Father De Bono. Yeah. Uh, did you hear that the Pope wants, it says you can uh, abortions? They're gonna go what? easier on abortions. Go easier. They're like, like, yeah, like, yeah, it's not such a big deal. Yeah. They, get, they give priests more, uh, I think, more leeway to like forgive abortions or whatever. That would change the whole plot of Saturday Night Fever. 
So what is it? Fara, fara.